Hi everyone, um, firstly, apologies, this has been such a long time since my last vlog, um, let's be honest, last month, that was May, didn't really go according to plan, but hey ho. Um, what really happened is I had my vaccine, which I was very excited about, um, but it didn't really like me, or my body didn't like it. Uh, so to cut a long story short, I had um, some paralysis on the left hand side of my body, so I kind of had to put a little bit sore and hold um, and get back into working, and everything's working fine. Um, there's just a little bit of weakness in my leg, but um, anyway, that's the boring news over. Um, I am really, really excited because there are currently now four weeks left for me to go full-time at my job and that means um, after that I'll be going part-time so I'll be working uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday and then I will be able to spend more time on little bits um, so behind the scenes I have lots of new products um, particularly sticker sheets I think what I'll do is I'll cross and put some footage on soon um, showing you some of the new products in my store and thank you again to my Patreons. If you are interested in joining my Patreon community, I've got a link in the comment section down below. Uh, we now have four Patreons, so thank you. I thought it would just be me, to be fair, and <laughs> that's not. Um, but yeah, so a lot is going on behind the scenes. We're creating a new product together this month, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. I like to put the um, the funds that these lovely people support me with. Um, every three months I put together what I have and try and create a new product. And that means that I can put um, new things back in the store for my customers. And my Patreon followers actually get their own copy of whatever it is that we've made. Um, other things include uh, my memo pads. So I have three now and this vlog is going to have some footage of that for you too. And I'm also working behind the scenes on my Kickstarter enamel pins. So I'm hoping to show you a little bit more of that, probably in my next vlog, um, if they arrive. Um, but I'll at least show you some footage if you're interested. Okay, so for this vlog, we've got a lot of little behind the scenes, so some unboxings. Um, I won't tell you what they are, because if you stay tuned, you can see for yourself. Um, a bit of packing footage, and da -da -da -da, I have a new... Um, much needed and very very loved machine as part of the little bits community now so um i'll uh, i'll play the footage now for you <laughs> again please forgive any blips or things that i do wrong but um hi um i hope you're well and have yourself a lovely day pop the kettle on and enjoy bye
trusty Cricut Explore I'm still using mainly for my sticker packs so here it is I think it's just cut a sheet actually mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the cut lines there it is um, there are actually quite a few advantages I've worked out compared to the Explore Air 2 um, let's just press one of the magic buttons um, how this one come out. There you go. I'm currently using um, some of my washi tape. I like to use the Cricut mats for as long as I possibly can. They are quite expensive actually. There you go. So there you go. This is a little um the way I make my minis. I got four to a sheet. Sorry, I'm shaking, aren't I? Must be the excitement. Okay, so let's have a look at this little beast. Um there is a section here. Oh my big hand in the way. Um as you can see, I filled it up. <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, there we go. So there's a really good storage compartment. You have one of the main differences is you have access to so many more different types of blades. For me at the moment, I'm purely using it to make sticker packs, sticker sheets. And um, I'll probably look into some other things. I'm interested in the Balsic wood, actually. Engraving or cutting out, possibly in time for Christmas. Okay, so if I close it, I've seen enough of the machine. There's a sign. Yes, it really does say Cricut Maker. I can't believe I own one, but I do. So thank you to all my wonderful customers and primarily my hubby. Um, how it came about is when I was poorly last month, I still had to try and get my orders out. So I had to recruit my hubby and I couldn't use my left side at all. Um, so I had to instruct him how to use the Cricut Explore and he got so frustrated <laughs> that um, when I started getting better, I had a, a present arrive. So thank you. For the useless behind the scene um, knowledge that. There it is. Um, the Cricut Maker. I've got in the champagne. Um, I think it's also cut. Oh, got a close up. Um, the double sheet as well. So if you're interested from one sticker sheet. I use quite thick paper too. Um, let me get some, I'll just grab some. Okay, so I use the thick vinyl paper. It's really thick at the back. I get it from Evergreens. And um, we've also just cut for an order. Somebody, somebody, sorry. I always fumble my words. Okay. It's an Ellie sheet, or you can see the um, the cut lines a bit closer on that. That's cut really nicely. There you go. Okay. I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would. And before you, there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you, I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I Like you're 
us to hold on It's not easy but I'm feeling stronger with you And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Sometimes I Okay, it's the next morning and have a look what's just arrived. Um, I've pre-opened the box, but I haven't opened it because it took me such a long time. Anyway, shall we have a look and see what's inside? Covered up my address, hope you don't mind. Um, oh, will we stop that? <laughs> here we go. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in here. Oh, they, there's your first clue. It's definitely enamel pens. If you can hear my computer in the background, by the way, I'm so sorry. Can I do an update? <gasps> okay, so I like the fact that if I just shut that for a minute, I've also had to put this camera really high up so you can get the best view. Um, so I mean, if I could change one thing, I'd have them not come in plastic bags. Um, that's okay, isn't it? If I reuse them. So this is a sample set. But I can really take photographs off. They always tend to do this, so <clears throat> let's open up. Okay, okay so here's the first one. Um, I'm going to take it out of the bag. Hopefully, if I just focus in a bit more, you can see that okay. Um, oh, the lighting's not the best. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Oh, a pink leather box. So this is part of. The Rosa Rosalia collection. So you've got the a pair of shoes. Okay, if I come down a bit closer. Here we go. Oh sweet. So actually they look really really pretty. Um, so you've got a pair of Rosalia shoes and the idea is there was a set. So there's the shoe and then oh, those are really cute. I wasn't sure how they would turn out, and this is so different to what I normally create, let's be honest. Okay, um, and then that there is a matching perfume bottle. Can you see? Oh, actually, when you put them next to each other, and the idea is they're a set, so customers um, or people interested can either have one or they can have a set. Do you know what? I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I did originally have some screen print on the flowers. I wasn't quite sure um, if it was just too small to have that. So these are sized at 1.25 inches. Oh, I'm really happy with them. Um, bizarrely, I asked for pink backing. Um, and then I've got some black ones as well. But the idea is I can choose and mix and match and then offer customers a choice of what backing they would like. I think the rubber backing is going to go better with these this time as opposed to the metal clasp, but there you go. So in here should also be, and this is just for my sample set, so the sample set don't tend to be as good as, I'm having a hunt here, I've just seen the bunny, I'll talk about the bunny in a minute. <clears throat> okay here we go, oh it's lovely. So this is the bag, I'm so bad at getting these out of the that's it. What I do do is I keep these plastic um, coverings and then I can put people's rubber backings if they want different types in there. So I'm kind of recycling as much as I can. Oh, this is really nice. Do you like it? Okay, so, oh, it's the Rosalia set. So you've got the shoe. Now, originally I wanted to see the light pink on the flower on the top as well. I didn't know if it would be too busy, but actually, they still look really nice as a set. Mm, here you go. We know autofocus isn't going to work, but you know, it might grab it. <laughs> um, 
they're really sweet oh they look so much better in person i hope this is doing it justice so if i can let's hold all three so you've got one two and then the shoes um anyway let me know what you think do you like them i have got two other sets that they're making at the moment which hopefully will be here um, the end of next month oh do you know what i'm really happy with them um and if emily if you're watching there's your little pin there my lovely and thank you so much for um taking the time to back that one you know who you are okay so i remember this is just a sampler set so um often the sampler set might be have some imperfections but at the moment i can't see any another dilemma i had is do i make it black um nickel plating or do i go with the gold um what i found in the past so hold on, there's a whale pin okay so the the gold is lovely but if you mix it with colors like black it stands out really really well i wasn't so so sure if you would lose the actual design outline if i did it in gold and you know i'm really pleased i did them with the black but that might be something for next time so there you go okay goodness i've only done three there should be a couple more in here oh look it's been lying here waiting okay so here we go this is all the steampunk boots now there are two i'm gonna make sure i get the right ones so oh it's white rubber backing so i meant to be gray but that doesn't matter i've got loads of gray it also means i can keep the white rubber backing for another design here we go oh these lovely again even though it's the black nickel it's turned out really really well oh i'm so sorry the focus isn't brilliant but i will get you some um and it looks like these little buckles so there are two that is the oh my goodness i always get that wrong to the left <laughs> i'm one of those people that has to hold up left and right to find out anyway i'm rambling aren't i here we go and there's the other one so again um you can buy individual or you can buy the set and i'm thinking that um when i was younger you used to have those best friend charms and you could give half to like your best friend well i thought they might be more of a more modern way of doing things so you could purchase the set so the set will be a reduced price as if you purchase them separately um i'm going to have them on their own backing cards and what i have been doing actually oh this is exciting i've done a little mock-up i don't know what you think of a backing card oh look you get to see this for anybody else now um on the one coming it's got littlebits.com just kind of engraved in now oh but look they look really nice i'll just put it against it but it's not too busy what do you think anyway that's the backing card to go with the steampunk set um i mean i could put both boots now that i look at it both boots might work well like that as a set actually um but again you can have the individual one now these are going up in my store um next friday which will be the 30th um because i want to launch some of the pins together okay so oh i'm really happy with that and while i've got that there in here i hope having hands around it might not be in here might be those a bit i don't think it is okay i'll have to reveal that a little bit let's look at the others while we're here okay so this is this was part of a kickstarter by the way and this is the freebie pin so all backers who back one pin or more um, will also receive a freebie pin oh it's really pretty i'm really happy with that you know, this company are amazing um i have done a vlog i think it's studio vlog number five where i show you a little bit more about how i make my enamel pins i also mentioned the manufacturer so if you want to go and have a little look I'm still I've stuck with the same manufacturer too um, so oh, really really nice oh now I did get the silver metal class um, but I'm going to probably get some of the blue ones as well I know you can um, purchase them separately from the UK so that's good I mean they probably come from China originally but anyway 
try and support local business if I can. Oh, that's really pretty. What do you think of that one? So because this is a freebie pin, it means I can put this one up in the store. Um, I might actually put it in the store probably this week. I have to design a backing card, so I'll be working on that probably this afternoon. But oh, wow. So the idea is it's a rose platform. I think I've called it blue rose platform shoe. Um, but yeah, so you can, even though it was a freebie pin for the Kickstarter, the reason I made it a freebie, freebie pin, sorry, I'm mixing my words, aren't I? Um, is that I can actually pop these on the store at any time. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. So yeah, I'm still on the hunt for that surprise one. Oh, okay. So this is the Delamere card. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you how it works. This is my bunny pen. You're the first one to see it. Here we go. Well, anyone watching? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what do you think? I was so worried about the hair. Okay? Like, my proof that I sent the manufacturer did not have... Oh, there's a motorbike outside. You can't breathe that, can you? Um. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you know I'm happy with him? If you have backed the bunny, please, please add a comment. What do you think? Um, and I armed and armed so much. Oh, he's really cute. He's a good size too. He's 1.5 inches. Um, but what I have done is I've gone back to my manufacturer and I said, um, can we have the bunny also in the gold enamel? Like I'm a bit closer. I know it's not going to focus. That's so annoying, isn't it? Anyway, if I move this, see if it makes a difference. Probably not. I am saving up for a camera, I promise, but hopefully get the idea. Oh, he's really cute. I thought he was too hairy. Is he too hairy? Oh, come on, Uta, autofocus. Goodness me. Um, yeah, I thought I have him in my hand and the colours. I thought, is he too yellow? I had all these arms and arms just because I love the design so much. Um, oh, look, I'll show you. Currently, um, when you purchase the bunny, you'll get a little free one. So that's the illustration. Here's the bunny. Oh, really, please. Um, I think the hair. Can you see? When I sketched him, there's like little fine bits of hair. You can't see. I don't know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, yeah, do you know what? He's really cute. I did post a picture on Instagram. Um, I had a... Uh, one person say, oh, it's too hairy. Um, so then that put doubt in my mind. I was thinking about it anyway. So he is coming in the rose gold plating. Probably not for about another four weeks, though, because my last order is quite a big one, um, and I put them together. He has got a screen print on his eyes. I don't know if you can see. But what I've decided with the gold, I'm going to have gold outline, only a few bits of hair, but I'm going to keep the black eyes. I don't know what that would look like, with the gold outline the black eyes um but the proof should be sent to me today and then if you're interested i could i could probably pop um a little link or put a picture on instagram oh do you know i'm happy oh my goodness i'm not saying i've had sleepless nights about him but it is a lot of money to invest and i have ordered um a hundred of him he was quite um popular in my back end so there's a little bunny what do you think okay enough about the bunny the bunny says it's all about him. Okay, right, let's have a little hunt. I think I've shown you all of those. Yeah. So, it looks like we're going to have to go into the box to pull out the last one. So, we had bunny freebie pin. I don't know why I'm calling it a freebie, but... Uh, the two, two steampunk boots. Okay, we're going to have to go in. Here we go. I'm on a hunt. Maybe get some in. Okay, so to pull them out. So I've ordered 50 of those ones. Goodness me, I'm a bit busy here. Um, so 100 of these because I really actually like the design. And you know what? You can have other enough boots in your life, can you? So there should be, bizarrely, 100 of each type. Goodness, I'm running out of space here. If you could see my office, you'd be like, what are you doing? Okay, so that's the other boot. Oh, I've got to check. Hey, imagine if they sent me. 200 of the left. <laughs> I'd have to convince people that we're all okay. I know that's good. Right, put that one down. Pop this one down. Uh, the bunny. I bet the one I'm looking for is right at the bottom. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Okay, so I ordered 100 of the bunny. 
Okay, but why am I being kind of so worried? Why is that all the noise? Oh, he does look cute though, doesn't he? Um, again, they come in the bags. Um, I can ask for them not to come in bags, but I'm also worried that if they get damaged, and I do promise you, I, I reuse the bag, so. Anyway, I think I'll get finding this, or this vlog will be like, <gasps> here it is. Here we go. Now, what do I think? Yeah, so do this thing. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Okay, how they fit this in one box always amazes me. Right, so remember the boots. Okay, some hung boot. Da -da -da -da. I have created a design. People probably think I'm absolutely, I don't want to say mad, but you know, here it is. <gasps> I've designed a steampunk bag. Now this came from my mind completely and what I was thinking the day I designed this, who knows. I think I've created like a wing in it as well. Right, first again to see this with um, a cutout too, which is nice. So, da -da -da. oh look, it's actually almost focusing. Good job, little camera. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, it's so shiny. Okay, so that is a steampunk bag. These are the boots. So the grey, the yellow, the browns. Um, and then I incorporated um, silver and blue as well. And the idea is it's got... Oh, I wish you could see it. Mm, I'll stop mooning in a minute. I'm so happy. Look at that. Okay, so um, rubber fastening. Hopefully two are enough. But I think it would just get too busy if you had more than two. So the, this is two inches wide. And I think it was about one and a half high. This one here is 1.5 high. Um, so again, remember the Rosalia set? You can purchase individual boot, a set of boots, or the whole set. I'm trying to lay it in my hand for you. My goodness, I can't believe these came today too. Just perfect timing. I'm in the middle of putting together my vlog. It's been a little while since I vlogged, but hopefully it's been worth the wait. But there you go. Please, if you can, add a comment in the comment section, provided they're um, enabled. <laughs> Just let me know. Do you know what? I'm going to put the little bunny in the mix because I'm really happy. Yeah, there he is. Hi, little bunny. Well, let's add them all in, shall we? Yeah. And, oh, I can't fit them in my hand. <laughs> well, I'll put them there. So there we go. You're the first to see the enamel pin reveal. If you have a favourite, please let me know. And um, if I work hard enough, I might be able to get this vlog up for you this evening. Okay. Mm -hmm.